Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to tune your network adapter based on some documentation I'm going to show you. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe as I will be posting more videos like this at Monday, 5 p.m. East. But yeah. So the first thing we're going to do is download this file, find network adapter path. To get this, you can join my Discord server, which will be linked in the description below. Head over to the resources channel, and you'll have to scroll up a bit, but you'll see find network adapter registry path right here. You're going to want to download it. And once you download it, you're going to want to run it as administrator. And in here, a path should show up right here. What you're going to do is highlight the path and copy it. Then you can close out of this. And then you're going to click Windows key R. You're going to type reg edit right here. And then in here, you could delete whatever text is in this box on top. Paste the path in and click enter. Now that you're within your network adapter registry path, what you're going to want to do is go back to my Discord server and in the resources channel, you should scroll all the way down and you will see network adapter registry documentation. You're going to click on this and this does not matter whether you have NVIDIA or AMD by the way. This is just some documentation on network adapters. It doesn't really matter what GPU you have, but in here you can scroll down a bit. And you'll see basic registry keys right here. You scroll down again, you'll see some general registry keys, offloads, performance, Ethernet, and so on. And what we're going to do today is mess with these keys and set certain values for them. Now, one thing I want to mention before is that a bunch of network adapters and PCs are a lot different, and there are different configurations in which you can go about them. You can have offloads disabled, buffers at a certain size, and so on. And like I said, since everybody is different, there are different configurations you could do. There are some things I could recommend generally to everybody, which you can find in my past network guides. But right now we're going to be messing with these settings and just seeing what works the best for our adapter. So in here, what you're going to do is say you want to change a key or something. You'll see key name right here. This is going to tell you the name of whatever you're going to set. For here, it's threaded DPC enable. And then for key type, you're going to see D word, which means that if you want to set this within your registry, you're going to go over to your registry right here. You're going to right click on random space, click new, D word 32 bit value. You can paste the value in here. And then once you do that, you can click on this, double click on that. And in here, you'll see values. It's for zero. If I set this to zero, it'll disable this. If I set it to one, it'll enable this. And the description just tells you what it does. For this one, it'll say control the data DPC mode enablement for RX traffic completion processing. If I want to have this enabled, I'll just go right here, type one in this box right here, and then click enter, and then it's set. Now, in the case that you don't see a key type column, this is most likely a string. So if you would want to disable large center offloads right here, you'll copy the name, go to your registry, right click, new. You'll click string value instead. You'll paste the name. And then for me, I already have it. So I can just delete this. Up here, it should be right here. If I want to disable it, I'll set it to zero, which is what I have it right now. If I want to enable it, I'll put it to one. But I'm just going to leave it disabled since that is what I have it. And that's how you would set ones that don't have a key type for D word right here. Another example of a thing you could test is NumRSS queues. I already have an example of setting this in one of my previous videos, but one thing I did not know is that you can actually go up to eight queues, and usually I recommend four, but like I said, this is something that you should test. Sometimes two works better on certain systems. Soon I'll be testing six and eight, and I'll let you guys know how it is in my Discord server, but this is just something that you can test as well within your registry. Now, like I said, the main point of this video is for me to show you guys how to use this and how to set things for yourselves. If you want me to tell you what to set, some general recommendations, you can look on my past videos. But if you're really trying to maximize your performance, you want to check what works best for you. So you will just basically play with these keys until you get good results on whatever network test you're doing. And what you can do is, like I said, test, say for this one, TX in moderation profile right here. So you use interrupt moderation, which is on top right here, interrupt moderation. I have it disabled, so this wouldn't even matter, but say I have it enabled and have it to one. In here, you can see which type of interrupt moderation you can use. 
So if I set it to 0, it will be low latencyencyc, 1 moderate, 2 aggressive, and 3 dynamic. You can test which one works the best for you by setting this. So I would go right here, copy it, new string, set this to 0 if I want low latency on interrupt moderation enabled, and then I'll test it and see if it works better than if I were to just disable interrupt moderation. I've already done this and you guys have seen my results in the past. I'll put it up on the screen right now again for you to see. I'm going to leave this on disabled just because I know what works best for me and this isn't it. But like I said, I've seen multiple things on different PCs because every PC is different. You really have to test and see what works best for you. If you guys enjoy these type of videos where I teach you how to test and set settings depending on what type of system you have to see what works best for you instead of just recommending general recommendations, make sure to like to subscribe and let me know on my Discord server if you like this and you want to see more. But yeah, that's it for today. See you in the next one.